As a partner to the wholesaler and the workshop's friend, we speed up everyday business processes and make them more profitable. Our spare parts and maintenance parts, as well as workshop equipment and diagnostic devices, form the foundation for this. But it goes far beyond that. Our service and know-how meet today's requirements and the challenges of tomorrow. In addition to our technical support hotline, we offer extensive training on-site or online through Hella Tech World, our digital technical portal. Our goal is to optimize the entire repair process and minimize customer downtime. On top of that, we support our business partners with first-class data management and state-of-the-art logistics. This is how we ensure that our products will reach you quickly, no matter when or where you need them. Our products and services for the independent aftermarket are based on our diagnostics competence and more than 120 years of tradition and innovation in the fields of lighting and electronics. In close cooperation with renowned vehicle manufacturers, Hella shapes the megatrends of the automotive industry as enthusiastic visionaries for future technologies such as autonomous driving, digitalization, connectivity, and electrification. All of us at Hella look ahead with curiosity and confidence. With us at your side, you can do the same. Are you ready? Hella, partner to the wholesaler and the workshop's friend. Well, Frank, that was certainly an excellent video demonstrating everything that the world of Hella has and, and showing vehicles. The full portfolio of electronic parts we have to go into the vehicles. Exactly. And that's so, what we're going to do today, isn't it? Yeah, today we're going to take the chance to tell you about the entire world of electronics. My name's Frank Brown. I work in the International Aftermarket Division in Germany. And my name is Pete Bradley, and I'm responsible and head up the International Training Department of Hella Gutmann Solutions. Um, as this is a bit of a journey of the world, we're going to start in the past or...? We have to go back to the past. Okay. Electronics started in the 1950s. The first flashy unit was available in 1957 for the direction indicator. And over the last 70 years, we now have many more products that make up 35% of the electronics in the vehicle. 35%? 35%. Well, that must include things like radar, cameras, ultrasound sensors, all of these things that go towards providing the advanced driver assistance systems that we're obviously going to talk about later, I suppose. Today, drivers can't imagine that back in the day, you wouldn't have a radio in the vehicle. You had to <laughs> wind the window up by hand. Exactly. Well, I think we should uh, probably start this journey. So the Hella solutions will make driving safer, more efficient, and more comfortable for the drivers. So Pete, let's have an outlook on the mega trends. Certainly, Frank. We've got four of them here. Shall I go through them or do you want to go no, through them? No, you can go through them. Okay, Give me a brief well, example. what I'll do is I'll just introduce them briefly and then we'll go through them in a bit more detail later on. So let's have a look at the first one. That's efficiency and electrification of vehicles. And obviously you've seen today e-vehicles and hybrids coming onto the, onto the road. When we talk about connectivity and digitalization, that means sort of the internet of things that everybody's heard about and how things are connected with one another and exchanging information. Autonomous driving, that's where we're looking at most of the components these days. And we'll look at how those affect these megatrends. And of course, we've got the individualization, which is how today a driver can customize their vehicle and make it look as though it's their own. Huh? What? Oh! What's that you've got? No, it's not a party hat. But I, I, I believe I recognize that. This is a, a plug-in for electric vehicles. Right. In the last few years were very rare, and now it's commonplace. So we're now talking about efficiency and electrification. Exactly. Good. And now we should understand what that means for independent workshops. Well, that may be the plug to charge those electric vehicles, which, as you've rightly said, more of them on the road today, so they're ending up in the independent workshops. But this, even though it is a small paper sign, is very important for that work. The diagnostics today for electric and hybrid vehicles is changing, obviously. 
And what we need to be aware of is that the changing of the diagnostics may also mean a change in the technicians that work on them. They need to be trained, they need to be competent and aware of the dangers of high voltage vehicles. Do we need that for all repairs? Yes, Frank. The reason that is, is because it's an electric vehicle. So this sign goes on top of the vehicle when it's being worked on to warn others that the high voltage components may be live and they may be uh, dangerous. In fact, when we go down the road and look at this in more detail, then that is that some countries even have legislation that dictates anybody working on electrical or hybrid vehicles or high voltage vehicles needs to be trained and be qualified to do that work. So it's more important that the technicians uh, have more knowledge into repairing electric vehicles going forward. Much more knowledge than they have for the normal vehicles, because we have now an added component of high voltage. Exactly. So let's now talk about connectivity and digitalization. What does that mean to, do, to you, Frank? Well, at home in our lives, we have so many devices that, that control what we do and help us manage we have the TV, we have Alexa, Google, they manage our light systems and our heating systems. And also your daily life is planned by those as well now. You have reminders that tell you we must do something, we've forgotten. <laughs> exactly, yeah. and you lose it, you lose your life, I suppose. Exactly, so yeah. what do we have in the automotive? In the automotive industry, it's sort of catching on a little bit better than it, than it was. Um, but uh, we can also do certain things like control some vehicle functions remotely, uh, switching on the preheating so that on a cold day, I switch it on before I go out of the house with my app and my vehicle is warm when I get into it, or even opening the doors, you know, I mean, on warm so days, the, you can the open the doors. the back as well to assist. Exactly, or the boot, everything like that, so that, you know, when I've got my two heavy carry bags of shopping, <laughs> the boots open, I can just go, Put it straight there you in go. The car. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And what about when we're driving and the traffic jams on the motorways? That's a good one, actually, Frank. That's uh, one of the areas where I suppose that we talking about the real connectivity and the connected vehicle. Uh, all the vehicles driving on the roads are connected via GPS and other satellite systems feeding into a center or a server that works out algorithms and then Let's look at the speed of the traffic, the build-up, how many vehicles are there, all of these things, not just like the GPS from yesteryear, but certainly a complex system that provides you with then, Mr. Brown, would you like to take this route, which will take you 20 minutes, or this route, 45 minutes now. So again, one of the important mega trends that Hella follows to bring the future uh, efficiency to our drivers. Well, exactly. All, all across the board are the ones that Terra is following. And obviously, uh, we at Hella Gutman as well have to keep up with those mega trends by designing equipment and diagnostic devices to actually repair and uh, calibrate them, which we'll see later on. Good. So, Pete, let's have a look at this mega trend individualization of the vehicle. Yeah. I mean, that to me means yeah, different light choices in the vehicle, you know, making it green, yellow, red, or whatever, you know. Yeah, I mean, you can have different uh, designs. So when I'm on a long journey, I can uh, set the lighting. So when I drive more comfortably, different from how my wife may want to drive. Yeah, I mean, that's the choice of design, choice of ambience, but doesn't individualization mean a lot more than that? I think it's more important when we think about the presetting for different drivers on the same vehicle. So I'm taller than my wife, so therefore my seat settings are different from how my wife sits. So it helps change the mirrors. When I open the door with my handy in the future, then I can uh, set a different setting for me as my wife. Right. Does that also mean I can have a setting for your car? Absolutely. Car sharing will be an important way of uh, if making more efficient a number of vehicles on the road in the future. So therefore you could have a different setting using my car than I use. So you would allow me via an app or something, you'd give me the authorization to use your car. I'd go to unlock it and my settings would already I'm be already in there. already safe onto the vehicle. Wow, that's really good. That does, however, bring us me on to a point about diagnostics. Drivers being able to do their own settings like that can yeah. cause some diagnostic issues. But that actually brings us very nicely onto our last mega trend, and that is autonomous driving. Well, autonomous driving uh, is the future. And when's the car going to drive me to work? And then on my way to work, I could be checking my emails, updating my meetings in preparation for when I go to work. Well, all of those systems, A, have got to be safe. 
for you as a driver to trust those systems. B, what they need to also do is ensure that the surrounding area is safe as well. So there's a lot of safety factors involved. What you just talked about, however, is possible with a few vehicles today in and under restricted conditions. We're gonna look at this a lot closer. So what I suggest we do is we take a look at this great video that Heller has done about autonomous driving. Let's look at the video. I agree. Decades of experience make Heller a technological leader in radar-based driver assistance systems. Millions of our sensors are in use worldwide. It takes months of scrutiny before we release a product onto the assembly line. Measuring, analyzing, optimizing. Our unifying goal, to make mobility of the future safer. We ensure their reliability, even under the toughest of conditions. Heller operates worldwide. Our manufacturing facilities in Germany, China, Korea and the USA are highly automated, delivering stable processes and consistently high quality. Today's cars are supercomputers. In a matter of milliseconds, they process and analyze environmental data, strategizing optimal driving. This is made possible by innovative RF CMOS technology, integral to our next-generation high-resolution radar sensors. Potentially dangerous situations are identified and prevented in the blink of an eye. This is how we strive for a future where safe and comfortable autonomous driving is here in the blink of an eye. Hello, technology with vision. So that was a great video showing the different uh, technical solutions that Hella has. Certainly was, and uh, also demonstrated how far we are with autonomous driving these days. Exactly, and the, the solutions that we have, the art of sight gives the car vision to detect objects, the child on the bike or pedestrians on the side of the road, because a car can stop much quicker than a human can. Due to the fact that it's seeing its environment, which is all about the out of sight. Because much quicker, in the world, 95% of accidents worldwide are from human error. Really? And that's why the solutions that Heller are bringing support the reduction in this number. So that means that the, uh, the accidents should reduce the quicker the vehicles are able to react, react rather than the human. trusting the human decisions that we have exactly. to do. Okay. So when we look at this, how about the system components? I mean, there are still a lot of components. And for instance, in 2020, there were over 225 million of this type of components fitted to vehicles worldwide. That means radar, cameras, ultrasonics, that's sort of the, the ones that uh, And that shows the development over the last 70 years, but will that improve in the future? Well, yeah, I mean, there's a, an exponential curve going on the, that fitment rate, which predicts that by 2024, we'll be looking at over 400 million fittings of radars, cameras, etc. That'd be a brilliant development. Yeah. Well, ah, um, this is interesting, the safety zones. So this is where your art of sight comes into play. And if you see, look at the diagram here, what you can see here are what we've defined as safety zones. These have been defined by the ADAS engineers to say this is where we need to be looking at. And you can see here we go from the near about 40 meters detecting to the vehicle front and then spreading out right out to beyond uh, 250, 300 meters. These are supporting functions like automatic cruise control. And obviously the ones in the near here are supporting things like pedestrian protection or park assistance. Park assistance. Exactly, those sorts of things. And these are the reason that we've got so many fitments because all of these safety zones need to have sensors to detect around the vehicle so that the vehicle detects its surrounding environment. Understands what's around it. 
Yeah, exactly. The point about this is though that they are all manufacture specific implementations. So you may not find one vehicle uses all radar or cameras as a combination. So it's down to manufacturer specific implementation. The header components uh, sold in the aftermarket support the, the technical uh, technology we're bringing forward. And Hella has multiple products. Exactly. As we can see here on the chart behind us, you know, there's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot there. Yes, I believe Hella with its OE competence to develop and produce uh, products, bringing that into the aftermarket. But how does H uh, Hella Goodman Solutions now complete the competence circle? Well, I've got one of those components here, which I've just produced. This is the radar, and we're going to talk a bit more about that later on. And this is where we, as Hello Gutman, come in to try and complete the competence circle between the OE competences you've just mentioned and demonstrated, and also the diagnostic competence within the Hello Gutman solutions. Well, that's good. Can we have a look at some of these technologies? We certainly can, Frank. I think there's some over here waiting for us right now. Then let's go and have a look. We shall. So, Pete, that was an excellent overview. I've seen the comprehensive range of products that Hella has that go inside the vehicle. Exactly, and they're all contributing to ADAS systems or, as we saw on the graphic, the all-seeing vehicle. And not only that, but uh, they're all OE parts as well. Yeah, and, and we have lots of products. We've got some special ones there you want to explain. What do they do? Yeah, I just wanted to take a few examples to explain to the viewers how complex some of these are and what functionalities they fulfill. And I'll start with something that contributes to the all-seeing vehicle, and that is these two radars. The first radar here is the 24 gigahertz radar, and that contributes to the ADAS function of blind spot assist. We'll talk a bit more about that later on, uh, but it's usually built into the back of the vehicle, two of them, one master, one slave. The next generation up from that is a 77 gigahertz radar, and this one also contributes to the all-seeing vehicle. However, it does do more functionalities than its predecessor, the 24 gigahertz radar. So this one, you would probably find six of them, or maybe even eight of them around the vehicle, two at the front, two down each side, and two at the rear. Eight, which means that we have then extended this range around the vehicle being able to do things like automatic parking and that sort of thing. So this is uh, where we're going with the future. And you have a really small... You can, you can see that there. from over there? Only just about. I'll hold it up. Do? I'll hold it up. There you go. So this is another one, all seeing vehicle type sensor. And it's a ultrasound sensor. This is usually used for parking. So you know the annoying beep that you can get, and then you get the red, the yellow, and green if you've got the graphic. And this is the sensor that does it. Usually four at the front, four at the rear. You can have six front and rear as well, depending on the manufacturer, how they implement their parking system. And it's located just around here, just in the same, same size as you there, just there. And you can see that this one is the same color as the vehicle. So the part can be colour coded to the colour of the vehicle when it comes off the factory line? It certainly can. You can even in the aftermarket uh, for the workshops on that, they can then uh, get it uh, sprayed by a professional paint body. You mustn't put too much paint on it. And the fixing of it is also very important with the cover. Oh, interesting. And what do you have there on the side? Well, what's this? This is, this is a sensor from 1996, also contributes to the ADAS functions like uh, automatic cruise control, that sort of thing, and regulates the engine. This is a, the first to drive by wire. So this is CPOS technology, which means it's contactless, dictates the position of the accelerator pedal. It has a built-in redundancy. So if one signal fails, the other one takes over. And we've sold or we've installed, or it has been installed, 175 million of these in vehicles worldwide. And with that, we have a 55% market uh, coverage. That's an impressive coverage yeah. for the part. It certainly is. And they all contribute to those functionalities, depending on the manufacturer's implementation of those. Yeah, well, let me talk about what I have here then, because I also have a oh, very yeah. important part. <laughs> You've got the biggest one, I think. Yeah, so yeah. this is a 48 uh, volt DC-DC converter and supports uh, fuel efficient driving functions like uh, regenerative braking or idle cruise for fuel efficiency. So it supports also the power steering actuators. Okay. And we are a global supplier of this product for the automotive industry for electric and hybrid vehicles. All right, so that's part of our 
drive to, uh, to support, support in the environment. the environment for fuel efficiency and, and uh, less uh, CO2 emissions. Exactly. That's not all I have. Oh, ah, I you, have had one hidden. Here. you had one hidden. Yeah, the tiny little <laughs> one. So this is the smallest five level sensor on the marketplace. Really? It does rain, there's light, there's solar, there's humidity, and also works with the head up display. Really? To make sure that when it's raining, the wipers work, so it controls the condensation uh, fan that we have. It makes sure that when the windows steam up, the fan comes on and demists the window right. if you're driving. And so, it controls the automatic lighting we have. Well, yeah, I mean, that really is also, when we consider it in its true form, is also an ADAS sensor. Of course, okay. and Hello has been the market leader in this product since 1999. Really? Yeah. Okay. And fits just above the rear view mirror. Here you see, in line with the camera, so we can yeah. detect all those different senses and control parts of the vehicle. Excellent. Um, it also has to be calibrated. Some of them on the market need calibration, so it needs to be told which vehicle it's fitted to, so it knows how to do the sensing and well, the control. This product for can be um, fixed towards different kinds of vehicles. Correct. So it has the five functions that can be used in different combinations. Yeah. But the calibration is done, obviously, by diagnostic devices such as the... The HDS Gutman. products. Exactly. Yeah, so very, very good. Thank you very much, Pete. Excellent. Thanks very much. Um, I've got an idea. We probably need to go back in a workshop, and I'll give you a clue of what we're going to do next. Okay. It has to do with all of these, but I'll give you a clue. Thank Call you. Very good. Frank, welcome to the workshop. It looks very nice here. Thanks very much. This is the training workshop of the Heller Academy here in Germany. So what do you do here then? Well, we do training for technicians, obviously. We do training for internal staff, wholesalers, anything technical to do with vehicles, such as the technologies we've been talking about today. That's what we do here. And you said you wanted to show me something. What were you going to show me? Yeah, I did. And this is it here on the table. I think we actually need to go into another area of this workshop and look at these things in more depth. Let's go and have a look. Okay, off you go, Frank. Thanks, Pete. That was very interesting. Yeah, I'm happy you enjoyed it, Frank. Yeah? You're going to talk to me about these uh, machines I've got in front of me. What's this? Well, that's well and truly in the past. That's the Mega Max 55, and that was launched on the market in 1995. And how does uh, this tool help me then? That's another interesting development in the Hello Gutman diagnostic devices. It's the Megamax 42. That's the device that was launched in the Auto Mechanica at 2008 and was the first of the joint venture Heller Gutman solutions. Yeah, you're holding the cable up, I can see. In those days, Bluetooth and that sort of thing wasn't really the norm. And we used a cable to connect the devices to the diagnostic port of the vehicle. This is quite nice, but what have you got in front of you? Yeah, well, this is where we get into the present and the future. In the present, this is the Mega Max 77. It has a smart diagnostics interface, which allows the technician to choose the vehicle quite efficiently via the chassis number and also find out the systems that are built on and therefore also And the little thing in front, what does that do? This here? Well, this is a bit like that cable there, but this is now a Bluetooth wireless oh, okay. VCI. And what, what's this little thing at the back? Right, this is now the future. This is the Mega Max X. Oh, X, that sounds interesting. Yeah, very sexy X, okay. This is a smart vehicle communications interface. And as you can see, we so have still a cable. The cable from before. Ah, but this is different. This is the same as this, okay, and sits in the vehicle completely. All the functionality of diagnostics is in this, and therefore all you need to actually control and do your diagnostics is a tablet or anything like that. It's a platform independent device. So, so if we you don't have a Samsung a or an, an Apple, it doesn't matter which one I use. Yeah, whatever you choose as a platform that will allow you to communicate with the device and do your diagnostics, making it a lot more efficient and also quicker for the workshops. So it improves what detection does in measuring the vehicle? It certainly does. So what are we trying to measure here at the front of the vehicle? Ah, now then. This is our camera and sensor calibration tool. 
This, however, is the latest one and it's digital. So we can project all of the targets from all the different manufacturers, of which there are over 20. Okay. This, in fact, is the Volkswagen Audi Group target, hence the reason we have this Audi sat here today. And that's for calibrating the camera. So anything for the camera looking forwards when I'm looking at any the system, assist or Any system that needs a camera as a sensor to provide its functionality, then that's what we see. And what other elements do you have for checking the vehicle forwards? Well, at the front here, we also have radars for things like automatic cruise control. And that can also be checked with a simple attachment onto the CSE tool. And then how do you measure that then? Is that from this device here at the back? Well, of course, doing calibrations, you have to have a setup. And we use these devices here with a laser. And as you can see, the laser okay, just yeah. come out the front. That will be the same on the other side. And this allows us to set the device, the camera and sensor calibration tool, orthogonally to the vehicle so that the calibration can be carried out correctly. But Once that's set up, of course, all we need to do is hit the Updated button the system. and our system calibrates the camera or the radar or whatever we're doing. Do you also cover the back of the vehicle? We certainly do. Because the back that, of the car also that, has crash that, parts as well. That's where the Heller rear 24 gigahertz radars are. And obviously they're mounted in the back here of the bumper. So a crash part. Yeah, which is very important for us to understand. Yeah, exactly. It's very good. Okay. So Once it's renewed, then you obviously need to calibrate it. And for this, we use this here, the Doppler. This again is VAG specific. For so each manufacturer has their own version? Exactly. So there are other manufacturers have other devices to do the same sort of job. But so whatever you do, it's all about accuracy. So the Heli, Heller OE competence, uh, matching the Heller Gutman diagnostics tools, allows me to be more efficient with my customers, my technicians measuring a vehicle. Exactly and provides us with being a true friend of the workshop. Excellent. Let's Thank go you very and much. have a look at uh, something else, Frank. Okay. So Pete, great to see all the Heller Gutman Solution uh, equipment supporting the repair and maintenance of Heller Technologies. Well, thanks very much, Frank. I enjoyed showing it as well. But it looks like, I'm afraid, we've reached the end of our journey. But it's been a very informative and interesting journey. We've seen the mega trends, the Hella component technologies, the HGS equipment technologies, and innovation and technology success is part of the Hella corporate culture. Well, I can certainly only agree with that. And I hope that our viewers also have had the same experience today. So they can see OE Experience has met diagnostics for the independent workshops. But with all of these new technologies, new equipment, all that, it can be a little frustrating at times. But that's why Heller, as the workshop's friend, is here to support you. So, thanks for watching. All it remains for us to say is stay safe, stay, safe. stay healthy. Goodbye for now. Goodbye.